knock to it. Tried and true, too simple. Carter Honey, this is the Black Hole. Carter Evolution, this is a tension. This is the wise choice. All right, guys, this is the Chris B special. Knock to it. Uh, I dig it. I'm not a two finger kind of guy, but if you watch me with my two simple, which is a three finger, this finger is really not doing much at all. It is definitely these two. So I can see a lot of benefit, especially because this has a crossover to the silver back. And so you don't have to adjust your peep and you can train with like a tension release or go to the knock to it. Don't have a silver back for this, but did support John Dudley. And I can see myself using this for sure. This is a great release and John knows what he's talking about. That's the knock to it. Tried and true, too simple. Very similar to the wise choice. The wise choice just has a dome right there. This does not, they're very similar, we'll show you. And this is what I use for hunting. Totally dig this release, lots of adjustability. That part can be tricky for some people getting it on the string, takes a little bit of practice. I know when I first had this, I struggled to just get it to click on here. Once you conquer that, it's good to go. This is a three finger, you can get it in a four finger, depending on how you wanna manipulate that release. Medium sized hand, I would say for sure. Yep. Carter Honey, this is a hinge with a safety. One of the sexiest releases on the market for sure. No? The sexiest. It's got sex appeal. Like the safety, so once you pull back, you push it out and just keep rotating that sear. Again, it's a three finger. It's basically a wise choice that's a hinge, and I like it, which is why I like the th for three fingers. I like having an actual hinge in your arsenal, even you know if you want a clicker or not, this one doesn't have a clicker. I don't really like clickers because it kind of tells you things, something's about to go boom. But this was probably my favorite release to keep me honest. If I need to go back to, to basics and fundamentals, I'm using the Carter Honey. This is the Black Hole Carter release. This was the first hinge I ever bought. I still think it's arguably one of the best out there. There's no safety though, so be very careful. <laughs> Took a long time, I haven't shot this in years but I still think it's awesome. This is another great release to go back to the basics. No, I would never hunt with this, but I think it's a good training tool. I never knew when that arrow was going off. So I just had to sit there and talk to myself politely, keep pulling Dan and keep aiming. Most of my focus on my shot process is back here. The aiming is kind of almost automatic, autonomic nervous system, just like steering when you're driving. You don't really think about, oh, I got to steer. You just kind of do it at automatically, same with aiming, but focusing on that pulling process, got that from Joel Turner. I like the black hole, I think it's a classic. So you have an 82 pound bow, that might go off when you release the safety. Okay, noted. I don't know what your holding weight is. And 16? Yeah, it's gonna go off, basically. All right guys, this is the Carter Evolution. This is a tension, you're gonna hook in here and then you're gonna hold that safety down as you pull back. And this is Tim's release. He's got it set pretty light. So when I take that safety off, this thing could go off. Yeah. <laughs> 
Timmy, you need to tighten that up, man. That is ridiculous. But yeah, I mean, I took my hand off and it was gone. If I were to use this, I would set it way heavier. So I took my finger off the safety and kept pulling, pulling, and get a break. But everyone's a little different. Holding weight here is about 15 pounds. And then on my let off, I like a lower let off. I don't like a higher let off. So let off is how much that you're actually having to hold and keep pulling through. I don't like a soft wall, I like a hard wall, and I like to keep pulling. Matthews comes out with a 85% let off. I have it on the 75% let off. So lesser number, more weight to hold. This is the wise choice. You can see it's just like my two simple. It's just got this little dome. I should feel pretty at home clicking that in. This is Tim's release. I've never shot it, but I think I'm gonna like it. I like it. I would say as far as this release goes, all the same adjustability as the two simple that Carter's known for, the tension where the barrel's at. This is for that midsize to maybe a little bit bigger hand. I dig it. I totally dig this release. I would go with this or a two simple. You can't lose either way. All right, guys, this is the Chris B special. Shout out to Chris B. I like a clicker. I don't like a clicker. I don't know if I would hunt with one, but I know a lot of badass archers like Chris B that do. By the way, Chris B, you don't know this, but I got your cell phone number from Matthews. I'll be reaching out. We're going to do a collab on YouTube. Comment below if you'd like to see us do a collab with Chris B. And maybe we, don't say shoot off because I'm not... I'm not gonna do a shoot off with him, but maybe we'll see where I'm at. You know, if you wanna get better, shoot with people that are better. Oh, that is butter. I like that. Let's go through all the releases that we shot. All right, so in order. Totally dig it. I like the crossover to the silver back. I could see myself using that for a thumb barrel. That's the knock to it. This is what I'm currently using. Madly in love with it. It's very similar to the Wise Choice. You can see it just has that dome. So I think those are darn near interchangeable. I don't know much of the difference. You'd have to go online and check that out, but I, I dig that. That's my go-to. The evolution is Tim's got it set up really light. It's a spring tension. You push that down. It's good, but I don't like this back end stuff. I like, I'm used to this on the very end, but I do think that this is highly beneficial for training to go back to this if you're getting a little punchy. This is my all time favorite training release. It's got a safety, it's a hinge. You can see it's similar to what I like. I group the best with this. I just don't want to hunt with it. There is no clicker. This is your tried and true black hole from Scott Release. This is the first one I ever bought. I still think it's highly effective. You can shoot really tight groups and it's really simple, yet it's really one of the best ones out there. And sometimes simpl simplicity is the best. Lastly, the Ultraview Hinge. This one was super butter. I liked it a lot. For a clicker, this is probably the best way to go. Really light, fits in the hand. It's pretty tight in there. So if you have big fingers, I could see that being a problem, but it looks like you can make all sorts of adjustments with these Allens. Totally dig it. This is our gaggle of releases. We wanted to show you kind of some different ideas. There's not a lot of videos out there that kind of cover different releases. And if you're buying things online, which most guys do, try to, I don't know, I would say find an archery shop that carries these. Good luck. A lot of pro shops won't carry these high-end releases. So you're gonna kinda, that's why we made this video so you can at least see somebody shoot it and try to figure out which handheld you're gonna pick up. I think all archers should at least pick up a handheld. So if you guys are an index shooter and you wanna have this in your arsenal, I recommend that. ABT, always be tinkering. ABS, always be scheming. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell if you dig what we do. We'll catch you on the next one.